Hello guys, this is Rajshakar Deshikari. Now I'm going to talk about radial commands in Oracle language. So let us follow my screen to get stuff over this topic. So here we have the DDL command in our Oracle database. Generally in our Oracle database, DDL command is stands for data definition language. It is a sub, sub language of SQL language. So generally there are five types of there are five types of commands that we are used in DM, DDL language. They are create, alter, rename, truncate, and drop. So oh, let us see uh, let us see one by one to uh, get the stuff over this uh, DDL commands in Oracle database. So here we have the first one is create. It is used to create an object. So generally this create command is used to create an object. Objects are like table or view or like it ATC. So etc. So in the database. So it is used to create an object like view or like table in the database. So so for 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 you guys to understand now, I would like to uh, create a table. Table. The table name is student here. So for creating of that student table, now I have to follow the syntax to create any table in the database. We know very well the syntax to create any table in the database. So here the syntax is nothing but the syntax meaning is here formula, formula, formula to create any table in database is we know very well. So the general syntax for any table creation in database is create table and we need to mention table name here and we need to uh, give the column name one and we need to mention the data type for the column name one and we need to uh, assign the size for the data type of the column name one and comma we need to give the column name two name column name two name and uh, we need to mention the data type for the column name two and we need to assign the size of the data type of the column name two and uh, like this so on then like this so on column name when column name n we should give here and we need to mention the data type for the column name n also and we uh, we need to assign the size for the data type of the column name n this is the very familiar syntax to create any uh, basic uh, basic table basic table in uh, oracle database so uh, if you want to create so now i would like to create a table the table name is student so i have to follow this basic syntax to create any table in the oracle database so according to this this syntax that means according to this formula now i am creating the student table here just follow uh, just see the below below line so i am i am creating the table by using the above syntax so create table and the table name here means uh, student i am taking the table name is student and i am giving the column name one according to the syntax of table so i am giving the column name one is sid sid represents the student id so student id generally is in the form of uh, numbers single digits are, are two digits numbers so that is why uh, that single digit and the two digits two, two digits numbers are generally we called them are we called them are integers that's why i am giving integer data type for the sid column and uh, and comma i am giving the column name 2 is s name s name stands for student name student name and uh, uh, student name any name in the oracle database is in the form of characters that's why that characters purpose only i am giving the uh, data type for the s name column is char data type and i am giving the size for the char data type of the uh, s name column is 10 and uh, i am giving the third column as marks and uh, I am mentioning the data type for the marks column is number and I am assigning the size of the number data type of the marks column is 3. So this is the this is the uh, this is the query to create the student table in our database. So let us see how I can uh, you uh, how I can uh, create this student table like this in Oracle Oracle database. So I got connected to the Oracle database through the SQL plus tool. So to understand this topic easily, I just want to clear the screen here. So let us follow my screen uh, to get the stuff over this topic. So I want to create the student table here, student table. So if you uh, if I want to create this student table, I need to follow the follow the basic syntax to create any table in Oracle database. So according to our syntax syntax for any table creation in Oracle. 
I need to follow this syntax to create this student table. So this uh, uh, this uh, this query I am going to write in the Oracle database. Practically, I will show you how we can get the output by using this query. Let us see the out. Uh, let us see the Oracle database. I am going to write the query to create the student table. So creating student table, create table. So according to that uh, table syntax only, I will I will creating this uh, uh, I will creating this student table here. So student table name is student and I am giving the column name one is SID and uh, assigning the data type for the SID column is integers integer and uh, I am mentioning the second column name is S name and I am assigning the data type for the S name column is character and I am giving the size is 10 for the care data type of the S name and uh, <coughs> and I am taking the third column as marks third column as marks and uh, marks are generally in the form of numbers that's why I am taking the number data type for the marks, co marks column and I am giving the size of the numbers size of the numbers is 3 so this is the this is the query this is the query to create the student table so let us see uh, let us see the output whether this student table is going to be created going to uh, be created or not just find just find and observe the output I'm, I'm i'm running this query to see the output just find the output so yeah so this 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 uh, student table has been created in this oracle database so if any table if any table that you created if you want to see the structure of that created table you have the query here is so if you want to see the structure of the any table structure of the any table in oracle database here we have the query is describe that means disk space table name we need to mention the table name here our table name what is our table name here our table name is student so i need to see the structure of the student table so that means structure means i need to see the how many number of columns are there in the student table and what type of data types are we are assigned for that uh, particular columns while the creation of that student table i need to see that's why i'm using the query is describe describe a space that means desk space space table name is student so uh, by using this query i will get the output is in the form of yeah i got the output having three columns in student table and uh, we are assigned we are assigned three data types for this uh, three columns so just observe the data types here so we are uh, while the creation of the student table for SID column we create we assigned the data type for the student col column is integers but so in generally when when we upload when we assigned when we assign the integer data type for a particular column then inter then internally oracle converts that integer data type into the numbers so let us see the output so we first at, at the time of creation table creation we mentioned the sid data type is integer but it is showing in the output sid data type is number so here we got the difference uh, difference is here so what happened here uh, here means oracle converts oracle converted this integer data type into the number data type so in generally if you if you give any any uh, if you give integer data type for any column then uh, internally this oracle data type convert to that internal uh, in integer data type to the numbers column and uh, assigning uh, 38 uh, as the size for that number data type of the integer data type of the uh, as a particular column that means here the particular column means SID so we we have we have given the integer as the data type for the SID column but internally Oracle converted Oracle converted that integers to the uh, number data type having the size is 38 so remaining uh, two columns that means the remaining S name column um, we have we got it here and we assigned the care data type for the S name and we mentioned the size for the uh, care data type of the S name is 10 and uh, third column uh, here we have the marks column and uh, while the table creation we have given the number data type for the third column and we, we assigned the three for the number data type as a size of the marks column so to see to see any structure to see any stru table structure this is the query describe space table name here i want to see the uh, student table structure that's why i'm used i used to describe space student student table so that is why i got this result so this result is having the three columns 
and uh, that particular three columns here we have uh, seen the we have seen the three data types for those uh, three three columns so uh, this this is the creation of the table so by by using by by seeing this example here we have finished this create command in D, ddl language of the sql sql uh, sql plus language sql language of oracle database next uh, let us see the next one is so next we have the alter alter table is there alter sorry uh, next we have the alter command is there so it is it is used to modify it is this command is used to modify the structure of a table so we know very well the structure of the table let us see the uh, let us see the student table structure is this so the main concept of the alter command is it is used to modify the structure of a table that means it is used to the alter command is used to modify the structure of the table that means it is used to modify the any column of the table or any data type of the table or any data type size of the table that purpose only we are using the alter command in ddl language so this is the meaning of the definition of that alter command in database so uh, we know very well the uh, how to see the structure of a table that means disk space table name we have seen here for the student table student table that uh, that query we have been used uh, the query we used in uh, used to get the structure of the student table that's why we know very well this stack we know very well the how to see how to see the structure of a table that means disc uh, describe space table name so in generally uh, this alter command this alter command is having the following four sub commands they are so first one is alter modify second one is alter add so uh, third one is alter rename fourth one is alter drop so uh, by using this four uh, by using this four commands of the alter command uh, we can only modify the structure of a table structure of a table that means for example uh, if you if you if you talk about uh, if you uh, if you see the structure of the uh, student so the alter commands the four types of the alter commands are going to be uh, going to be uh, going to be performed on this structure of the table only so that means the alter commands are used to modify the structure of the particular table only so that is the uh, that is the meaning of the uh, alter table alter command uh, types of the alter command commands so these these many four uh, alter commands are going to modify the structure of a table so let us see one by one of this uh, alter commands so here we have the first one of the alter command is alter modify so just clearly observe the just clearly observe the uh, definition for this alter modify so it is it is used to change that means it is used to edit edit so it is used to change or edit the data type or the size of the data type so uh, just clearly read this statement uh, it is used to change the data data type and size of the data type of a particular column in a table so it is used to change the data type and the size of the data type of a particular column in a table so uh, so syntax work that means the syntax is nothing but the formula formula in oracle terminology syntax is nothing but formula so let us see the syntax for this alter modify command so alter alter we need to mention the alter keyword here alter and uh, alter command here alter alter table and we need to mention the table name so whatever the table you are going to be edit uh, whatever the table uh, you are going to be edit that particular table structure and uh, you need to mention that table name here and we need to use because this is the alter modify command now you need to use the modify keyword here and uh, after that you need to use the column name here and uh, <coughs> after that you need to uh, add the new call new data type for this column and we need to uh, we need to assign we need to assign new size for this data type of the column so this is the syntax to uh, this is a syntax syntax for alter modify to change the data type and the size of the data type of a particular column in a table so if you see if you if you if you see the uh, suitable example you can only easy you can you can easily understand uh, how we are going to uh, use this alter modify command in sql language let us observe the question he is asking in the below so he is asking write a query write a query to change the data type and the size of the data type of column s name in a student table so he is asking please change the write a query to change the 
data type and the size of the data type of the column s name in a student name in a student table so so for that uh, <coughs> so we are giving the uh, answer in in terms of query is alter table uh, according to this syntax let us see the syntax in above, uh, above line uh, according to this syntax only we are giving the answer for this question so uh, according to the syntax alter alter table here table name means student and we are using the modify keyword because this is alter modify command a command concept so that is why we are using alter modify here and what he is asking please change the data type of the s name column data type and the data type size of the s name column that is why we are taking s name column here so we are arranging we are assigning a new data type for the s name is var care to and we are giving the sizes and we are giving the new sizes 20 here uh, so let us see uh, how we can write this query in the Oracle database uh, to change the data type and the data type size uh, size of the data type for the S name column in a student table. Let us see. So uh, here we have the structure of the student table. Uh, uh, in begin uh, at, at first we assigned the data type for the S name column is care data type and we given uh, we have gave the size for the care data type of the S name is 10. So we need to change, we need to change uh, S name data type with a new name data type and uh, S name data type size with a new new size. So for that uh, I need to use the alter modify, alter modify command here. So alter table according to the syntax of the alter modify, I am writing, writing the query for to change the S name data type and the size of the S name data type. So I am using, I am writing the query according to the syntax is alter table, table name means here student and I am using the modify keyboard here and I am using the modify keyboard here and <coughs> what for what column I need to change the data type and the size of the data type he is asking in the question what column based on what column s name s name column so here he is asking please uh, change the data type for the s name column and the size of the data type for the s name column he is asking the question he is asking in the question question like that only that's why i'm taking s name column here so i need to change the data type and the size of the data type for this s name column and uh, i need to change the data type for the s name column with var care 2 so and I am giving the new data type size for the uh, S name column is 20. So let us observe. So uh, by, if if I use this query, that means if I run this query, uh, if I run this query, I will going to this this query will going to change the S name col S name columns data type uh, and uh, S name columns data type size. So let us check whether it is going to be altered. That means whether it is going to be modified or not. Let us see the output. Yeah, this table, that means the student table has been altered. That means the student table has been modified. So let us check uh, how it is modified. Let us check how we can ch uh, check the uh, student table details. We need to describe again the student table here. So to see the structure of the student table, so uh, then only you can uh, if you uh, if you see the structure of the table then only you can find whether our uh, s name of f name column of the student table uh, has been changed with the uh, new data type and the size of the new size uh, or not you can say you can find you can find by seeing the this uh, by seeing this by seeing the structure of the student table so for the time using the disk space student student name here so i am i want to see the structure of the student again so yeah so let us observe in above description of the student table s name is having the care data type care data type and having the size is 10 so here we what we, what we did here you know so we altered the uh, student table with the alter modify command by uh, alter modify command to change changed this s name data type with var care to data type and we arrange we assigned the new data type size is 20 so let us see the uh, let us see the output for the uh, structure of the student table uh, the latest structure of the student table is uh, is having the s name and uh, having its uh, data type is var care to that um, var care to and that size is 20 that means uh, that means we we have been changed this data type size and the data type of the uh, s name column with varchar2 and the new size is 20 so this is the 
this is the usage of alter modify command in oracle database so let us see uh, the next command of the alter command so next type of the alter command is alter add alter add it is used to it is used to add a new column to an existing table it is used to add a new column to the existing table so let us see the formula formula that means let us see the syntax for this alter add command of the alter command so alter table we need to write like this alter table we need to mention the table name here and why and we need to add the add keyword because it is alter add command no? that's why we are using add keyword here and <coughs> we need to mention the new column name here we need to mention the new column name here and we need to mention the data type for the new column name and we need to mention the size for the data type of the new column name so this is the this is the syntax this is the syntax syntax for alter add this alter add command to to add a new column to an existing table so if you see the suitable example you can easily understand this uh, this concept so let us see the question below so he is asking write a query to add a new column new column that is sv to the student table he is asking please uh, add a new column sv to the student table existing to student table so for that i am giving the answer in terms of query is according to this formula i will give the answer in terms of query is alter table alter table and table name is here student and i am using add keyword because i am going to add the new column to the uh, student table and what type of column i am adding here what what he asked in the question please add the new column uh, new column that that name is sv to the existing student table that's why i am taking sv here and uh, sv is in the general uh, sv generally is in the form of amount no? amount is in the form of numbers that's why i am taking the number data type for the sv and the limit that means the size of the uh, numbers are uh, i am taking the size is 5 5 for the sv so this is the query to uh, add the sv column to the sv column to the student table let us see how we can uh, write this query in oracle database so for that purpose i just want to clear the screen here and again i want to see the structure of the student table that means how many columns and uh, um, what type of data types of we assailed for that that many columns we need to see so that is why i am using this query to get the structure of the student table so here we have the structure of the student table i need to add and where we have the only three columns in student table and for the, for those many three columns here we have the three data types or we have been uh, data types are we assigned so uh, we need to add one more column along with this three uh, three three columns to the uh, student table we need to add one more column so that column name is sv according to the question according to uh, according to the question is asking please sv column to this student table by using the alter add command so that's why i'm using the alter add command to add the sv column to the student table and uh, though according to the syntax I need to add the new column. <coughs> According to syntax, I am writing the query is alter table. The table name is student. So I need to add the I need to mention the add keyword because it is the alter add command. So I need to I need to add the new column to the existing table new existing student table. New column name is SV. And SV is in the form of numbers. No? SV that means the school fees school fees is in the form of amount amount is nothing but the numbers that's why i'm taking the number data type here uh, i'm taking the number data type and uh, i'm giving the size for that uh, amount of numbers is 5 and i'm giving the um, size for the number data type of the sp is 5 so this is the syntax to uh, syntax to add a new column to the student table so uh, i'm so i will run this query uh, i will check whether it is whether this query is going to uh, alter the student table with a new name new 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 column name that that is sv or not i will check by 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 running this query so i want to see the result of this query so i want to get the uh, output so that uh, i am clicking the enter button to get the output let us find uh, let us see the screen uh, to see the output whether this table is going to be altered or not 
Yes, this table, student table has been altered here by using alter add command. So let us check our uh, let us check our our structure of the student table has been disturbed or not by using the uh, by using uh, the alter add command. By using the alter add command, is this student structure is disturbed or not? Let us check. So for to check the structure of the student table. I need to use the describe command here. Describe student table name, and I want to see the uh, structure of the student table again. So let us see. At first, in student table, we are having only three columns, and uh, and after alter uh, and after using of alter add command to adding of SV, we are got, we got the four columns in uh, student structure. Student structure table. So this uh, this SV we we have we have uh, added just now, and we assigned the number column number data type for this SV column, and we mentioned phi as the uh, size of the number data type of this SV column. So this is the way to add new column to an existing table. So this is the alter add command in DDL language. So we have then we have the next one is rename. So, so it is the rename, re alter rename. It is used to change the column name in a table. So generally, this alter rename is used to change the column name in a table. So let us check the uh, formula for this alter rename. That means syntax for this alter rename is alter table, and uh, I am giving the table name here, and uh, I am mentioning the rename keyword here. Rename keyword here, and uh, uh, after that uh, I need to give the column keyword, and uh, I need to mention the old name, uh, old column name, and I need to use the two keyword, and after that I need to use the new column name here. So by using this syntax, we can we can uh, we can change the particular column name to column name with a new name. So uh, let us let us see an example suitable example to understand easily. Alter rename command in Oh, Oracle database. So let us let us read the uh, question below. So he is asking write a query to change write a query to change s name column by name co name column in student table. He is asking please change the s name column by name column in student table. So for that I am giving the answer by using this uh, above above formula. So I am writing the query is like just see the uh, query in the below. So alter table. Alter table according to the syntax. Alter table here. Table name means student, and I am using the rename keyword here. Rename keyword here, and uh, I am I am using the column keyword. Column keyword, and after that I am using the old name of the column name. Old name of the column name is S name, and uh, I am using the according to the syntax. I am using the two keyword, and uh, I am mentioning the uh, new name according to the According to the formula of the alter rename, I'm using the new name here. <coughs> new name means here I'm mentioning the name. Uh, so that is why uh, that is why we are changing by using this query. We are changing the s name to s name uh, column name to uh, name column name. So so let us check how we can write this query in a um, Oracle database so that uh, I want to clear the screen and I just want to see the structure of the student table. Structure of the student table. Yeah, this student table is having four columns and four data types for the uh, for the four columns. And uh, <coughs> I need to I need to change the I need to change the uh, one column name one column name that that means I need to change the s name column name by name column name in student table by using alter rename command of DDL language. So I am using alter rename command. According to the according to the alter alter rename syntax, I'm, I will change the s name column s name column by the name column. So alter table alter table according to the syntax according to the syntax alter table table name is student here and uh, table name is student here and I am using the keyword is rename. Uh, using the keyword is rename and uh, 
the what he is asking which column you, you need to change he is asking in the question so he is asking in the question please change the uh, s name column by the name column so he is uh, he is asking please arrange the new name to the s name column with the, with the new name of name column so he is asking the condition in the question is like that only that's why i'm taking uh, rename keyword and after that uh, i'm mentioning a old name column is s name and i am using two keyword according to the syntax of alter rename and uh, i'm 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 mentioning new name to the s name column so this is a syntax i think this is a syntax to uh, syntax to modify the uh, uh, syntax to uh, rename uh, syntax to change the s name to the na name column so this is the syntax so here i am uh, I, i forget to mention the column keyword here rename rename column so this is the syntax this is the syntax to change the s name column to the name column so if i use this uh, query so i will i will uh, i will i will get the result in the form of uh, table structure is in the uh, table structure is having uh, s name in uh, having the name column instead of s name so let us check whether the table is going to be uh, altered or not yeah table student has been altered uh, let us check whether it is altered or not by by seeing the structure only we can check so that's why i mean i'm checking the structure of the uh, structure of the table student structure of the table student i need to see the uh, structure of the student yeah so let us observe the uh, structure of the student so here we have the four columns sid name column marks column sv column here what we did you know so we just changed this s name column to the s name column by the name column so the, uh, by using this alter rename keyword so this is the use of the rename keyword uh, alter rename uh, command in oracle database so let let us see the next one is <coughs> let us see the next one is alter drop alter drop drop is in the sense delete alter drop means alter delete so it is used to drop and column of, drop a column of it is used to drop a column of a particular table so generally this alter drop is used to deleting a column of a table so let us check the uh, let us see the formula for this alter drop command alter alter table and we are we need to give the table name here and uh, we need to mention the drop keyword here and uh, uh, we need to mention the column keyword here and what <coughs> and uh, we need to mention uh, column name here so uh, this is the syntax to this is the syntax to uh, drop any particular column so let us take a example to let us take an example to understand this alter drop alter drop command in ddl language so he is asking the question in the below write a query to drop drop sv column from student table so he is asking write a query to drop that means write a query to delete sv column from student table he is asking the question like that only so that is why i am giving the answer in terms of queries by according to the uh, according to the, according to the formula of alter drop alter table table name and uh, we should give, uh, we should mention the drop keyword and we should mention the column keyword and we should mention the column name <coughs> so uh, as for this uh, syntax i need to give the answer for this question so so see this uh, query uh, i am giving the answer by using this query so alter alter table and the table name is student i am uh, i need to use the drop keyword because uh, because our syntax is having the drop keyword so that's why i'm using drop keyword here and i need to mention the column keyword and then i need to mention the whatever the column you need to uh, you need to delete whatever whatever the column uh, is asking to delete uh, that column name you should mention here this is the query to uh, delete the sv column from the student table so let us uh, let us uh, let us see uh, this query uh, how can we write it in the oracle database for that purpose i just want to clear the screen so again i want to see the structure of the student table to know how many columns are there and on what type of data types are there for that particular columns so i want to see the uh, structure of the student table 
so here we have the four columns in student table and the that four columns for that four columns we have the four data types here and uh, we need to uh, we need to remove we need to that means we need to delete the sv column from the student table the questioner asked in the question is like that only he is asking please delete the sv column from the student table so by using uh, by using alter drop only we can we can remove that means we can drop that uh, sv column from the student table so for that i am using the alter alter drop or syntax to write uh, uh, syntax to delete that sv column from the student table is alter table alter table table name is student here and uh, table name is student here and we need to mention the drop keyword here and we need to mention the column keyword here and what column you should uh, you, do you want to delete at that column name you should mention here uh, so this is a syntax to drop the sv column from the student table so let us check this query is going to be deleted the csv column or not this table has uh, table is going to be uh, altered or not just check check by seeing the output uh, i want to see the output to check whether this csv is going to be deleted or not the table has been uh, altered let us check the structure of the table now because we changed the structure of the table by using this query so let us check the structure of the table student table so yeah yeah here student table is having three only three columns so uh, before using this query this student student table is having the four columns after we dropping the column sv we, we got the uh, student structure structure of the student table having only three columns so having only three columns so we we have deleted this sv column along with the, along with uh, with uh, with their uh, well along its data type we have been we, we are deleted uh, uh, by using this query so this is the uh, this is the way to use the alter rename uh, this is the way to use the alter drop command in dml dml language and ddl language so this is the way to uh, delete the alter drop uh, this is the way to use the alter drop command in ddl language so next year we have the next one is the rename so uh, as of now we, we completed create command as of now we completed create command and uh, alter command so then third one is third one is uh, third one is rename command is there third one third one is rename command we have completed create command and we have completed alter command and then we have the third one is third one is rename command so it is used to it is used to change a table name in a database so generally this rename command is used to change change a table name in a database so this formula for uh, formula for rename is uh, I, I have written i have written in the below just see uh, rename space we need to give the whole name of the uh, table and uh, we need to mention the two keyword and after that we need to mention the uh, new new table name here so this is a syntax to change the table name so so let us take an example to understand this rename concept in uh, oracle language so he is asking write check query to change student to table name by college name so he is asking please change the student to table name table name by college name so the according to the syntax of rename so we should change the student table name by college name so i am writing this query according to the syntax of rename rename command i am writing the query is rename uh, we need to mention the old old call old table name is student and we need to mention the two keyword here and we need to mention the new new table name is college here this is a syntax to change the student table name by college name so uh, i will i will show you this query in oracle database let us see i just want to clear the screen i want to see the structure of the table structure of the student table so here this is the structure of the student table that means the student table is having three columns and the three data types for the three columns so here uh, the question is questioner is asking please change the please change the student table name 
student to table name by college name so by using rename command uh, we can we can change we can change the student table name by college name so i'm using rename rename command according to the rename command syntax i will, uh, i'm going to change the student table name by college name so rename or uh, rename after rename we should mention the old table name is student name student old table name is student and we need to mention the two keywords and you need to mention the whatever the new name you want to give that name you should give here so i want to uh, give the new name is college college name <coughs> so uh, according to this query uh, i am going to change the student table name with college name so table has been renamed let us check uh, table or uh, student is there or not the structure of the table student is there or not let us check no table is there that means uh, check uh, <coughs> check uh, check the uh, number of rows are there in the student number of rows number of details are there in the student let's check there is no such type of student table in this oracle so it is showing there is no such type of table or view in this oracle so why it is showing like this means we changed the table student name with college name so that is why this oracle is not having the student details so now this oracle is having the college table details because we changed the student table details by the college name details so let us check let us check um, whether this college table is available or not let us check the structure of the college table is yeah so here we have the uh, college college table there we have the college table in our uh, database having three columns so we just changed the call to uh, table name by the college name we just changed the student table name by the college name that's why this oracle is uh, is now a uh, oracle is doesn't have the student table so it is showing it is having only the college table so it is having the three columns and the three data types for that three columns so this is the structure of the college table so this is the use of the rename command in oracle database of the tdl language so then we have the fourth one is truncate generally truncate is used to uh, truncate is used to deleting all the rows generally this truncate is used to delete uh, delete the all rows of a, all rows of a table at a time at a time it is used to delete all the rows of a table at a time so so just see the note note for the truncate command but it cannot delete a specific row from a table it is used to delete all the rows of a table in uh, table at a time but it cannot but it cannot delete a specific row from a table so let us see the formula for truncate command that means uh, let us see the syntax for truncate command truncate table table name this is the syntax for uh, truncate command in ddl so truncate table table name so let us see the example question to understand easily this topic so uh, he is asking write a query to delete all the rows all the rows that means all the rows are all the records of a bank table he is asking please delete the all the rows or all the records of a bank table so for that according to the uh, truncate truncate say, formula we can delete the bank details bank bank table details so like this only truncate table table name is bank so this is the query to delete all the rows in the bank table so i will show you oh, in practically in oracle database so here we have the bank table so i have created for you guys to understanding this uh, uh, this concept i have created the bank table here so i want to see how many records are there in the bank table so this is the bank table i have created for you guys to understanding this uh, ddl commands so i have created just now so 
uh, let's check the how many records are there in this bank table there are uh, three rows are there in this bank table and three columns are there in this bank table so generally if you use the truncate command truncate command it will going to uh, it will going to delete all the rows it will going to delete all the records so uh, if you use the truncate command on this bank table it will going to delete all these rows all these rows let's let's delete <coughs> delete the records of the bank table by using the truncate he is asking the question he is asking the condition the question is like that only uh, write a query to delete all the rows or uh, rows is nothing but records so write a query to delete all the rows of a bank table he is asking so now i am giving the uh, um, now i am deleting now i am deleting all the rows of the bank table by using the truncate command according to the truncate command syntax i need to delete this uh, bank table rows so truncate table oh, table name is here bank so if i use this query that means if i run this query it will delete it will delete all the records of the bank table so i am going to see i am going to see the output for this query yeah table has been truncated that means the the bank table rows are deleted so let us check once again let us check how many rows are there in the bank table either they are, uh, whether they are deleted or not let us check the details are there what are the details are there in the bank table no rows are there so here we have the note is also there here the note is also there uh, what is that note means truncate command truncate truncate command is going to delete is going to delete is going to delete all rows all rows but but not the columns of a table but not the columns of a table so here you should observe uh, <coughs> you should observe that if you use the truncate command on a particular table it is going to be delete all the rows of a particular table but not the columns so let us check uh, we have been now uh, we have uh, we, uh, we we have truncated the bank table now uh, just check uh, just check whether this column names are deleted or not that means the structure of the bank table is deleted or not just check so how can we check disk how can we check uh, uh, how can we check the structure of the bank table so we, we have the query is disk so i need to check the structure of the bank table so here bank table is having the uh, three columns bank code and ban bank name and bank location so and the data types of the um, three columns are so there so here uh, here what happened you know uh, you know what happened you know so truncat if you use the truncat command it will only delete the rows if you if you use the truncat command it will only go it, it is going to delete only rows but not the columns so as we seen uh, in, as we seen with this bank table we have applied the truncat command on the bank table so that we have uh, we are deleted the rows of the bank table but not but not the a columns of the bank table so this is the concept of the truncate command in ddl language <coughs> then we have the last one is then here we have the last one is drop 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 means drop means delete delete if you want to delete any table we need to use this command it is used to drop a table from the database so that that means it is used to delete a table from this Uh, Oracle database. So or syntax to delete any table from the database means that is the formula means uh, drop table table name. If you see a particular example, you can easily understand how we can drop a table from a particular uh, uh, drop a table from a organization from a uh, Oracle database. You can see uh, we can see a particular example here. He is asking write a query to drop. That means write a query to delete. college table from this database so he is asking write a query to delete that means drop college table from database so answer is according to the drop command syntax drop table table name that's why we are giving 
or drop table you have to, uh, what he is uh, asking please delete the co college table from the database he is asking uh, please delete the college table from the database that is why we, we are giving in the place of table name means college so drop table college so if i if we use this query we can uh, we, uh, we can be, uh, we can last the college table from the database uh, i uh, i will show you in the uh, database let us see how we can drop a college table from this uh, database means not only for college table if you want to delete that means if you want to drop any table you have here we have the syntax is drop table table name this the drop table table name. this is the syntax to delete any table from this database from this varagil database so uh, the questioner is uh, the questioner is uh, the questioner is asking please delete the college table from the varagil database so i need to delete the college table so for the time using the drop command syntax here drop table table name is college table name is college so <coughs> let us see the output the college table is dropped that means college table is deleted from this uh, deleted from this database so let us check whether the college table structure is there or not let us check the output to see the college uh, structure of the college table desk space college college name so that's why uh, from, from this this query we can get the structure of the college table so Oh, it's showing the it's showing the object college that not does not exist here that means the college table is not there in this oracle database why why it is not there means we we have been dropped that college table by using the drop command this is the a uh, way to delete the uh, table from a uh, particular database this is the commands this these are the ddl commands in oracle database so uh, thank you guys thank you very much